So this is an exercise for my beginner and intermediate students, and it deals with lip slurs and buzzing, and both of them uh, in the same exercise, and it's a play along. So you will have opportunity to play along with this video and uh, repeat what I'm doing uh, after I play it. I'll leave space for you to play along with the video. And what I'll be doing is slurring, um, doing a lip slur like this, and then I'll be buzzing it, and then I'll be playing it again once more, and this is all going to be in time. I've got a metronome here. It's going to be set at 60 beats per minute. And this is something that you can play along with this video. You can do this with your friends, with your uh, classmates, with your bandmates. Um, it's really something that's going to help you. It's going to help uh, your practice uh, uh, buddy out. And it's going to help uh, develop so many aspects of your playing. But particularly if you're a young and beginner student, it's going to help you to uh, play your slurs better, to really connect your notes with your air, and to learn how to control your air better um, and keep it real smooth and, and, and full while you're playing these. It's also going to help develop your ears, which, which is uh, something that we really, really need to do. It's very important uh, for so many aspects of playing music. Uh, the ears are, are so important. And if we can develop our ears better, then we need to make sure that we take that opportunity. And that's one of the great things about buzzing, is that it uh, really helps to develop our ears. So. I'm going to start the metronome, I'm going to play for four beats, I'm going to leave four beats empty for you to play, I'm going to play on the mouthpiece for four beats, and then you play for four beats, and then back on the trumpet, and then you repeat on the trumpet, and then we go through all, all seven, uh, all seven uh, different combinations to be able to uh, do all the slurs. And this is a very basic slur, and you can do this with, with any exercise, but uh, this is, uh, for demonstration purposes, a, a real basic one.
All right, so hopefully you were able to coordinate uh, with the trumpet and the mouthpiece and to be able to play along with that. If not, you can watch this video again. And a uh, couple things to keep in mind while you're playing along with this uh, for when you, when you do this next time. Make sure that the, uh, the notes that you're playing as you get to the end that you play for the entire entire measure. It's not See I cut out a little early. I was like three and a half beats. Make sure you're really holding it all the way to the end. What it should be is that the moment you start playing is the moment that I finish playing. Um, also, something that is going to make this uh, better and easier for you. Make sure to breathe in tempo. So when the metronome is going uh, one, two, three, really make sure that you're breathing in tempo. It's going to really help you uh, to stay in time. And when we breathe in tempo, we're creating time. We're, we're uh, creating the tempo with our body and with our breath. So it's really going to uh, reinforce what the tempo is while we play. So thanks for uh, watching this video. Thanks for playing along. And I hope that it was helpful. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of other uh, YouTube videos uh, here and uh, Facebook videos uh, which deal with playing on the trumpet and um, in my trumpet tips series. So I hope you check them out. Um, please uh, subscribe on, on YouTube or uh, click like on Facebook if you like this video. And uh, I've got an Instagram and a Twitter, which I'm active on all these things. And I'd love to uh, connect with you. So please uh, find me and, uh, and uh, send me a message. Say hi. Let me know if this video helped you out. Um, if uh, you had any questions about it. If there was anything that uh, was unclear. So thanks again for watching. And uh, good luck practicing.